Okay, we're going to discuss the Osiris web application and the custom programming that I'm interested in. So what we have here is the Osiris web uh, or Osiris um, desktop application that runs on a Macintosh. And I have created this plugin here that you see here, uh, the top left icon here. And what this does is it opens the study. We, we click on one study. Okay, it opens the study when I click on it. I'm able to receive my recording website and all of the information like the patient name, uh, ID number, uh, physician name, all is being translated to the URL. I'm taking that URL and then entering it into my form. The user will record their audio. They send their audio and then they click submit to trans. This sends the file to the transcriptionist. After the doctor looks at the study, he manipulates it somewhat. You know, looks at the study. Then when he's done, he clicks this button which says set dictated. It closes the study and marks it dictated, this blue circle right here. Okay? Now, we have created these well, these are what are called smart albums. Okay, these smart albums are created using SQL queries, and we can see here that this is the query that is being used. Click the SQL. This is the query, and it is creating us a smart album. So what this is is not dictated, meaning it doesn't have the blue circle with a client name of Omega. Right, and this is dictated with Omega. So basically, as I'm looking at this smart album, if I mark one of these studies dictated, the number is 23 right now, the number will then become 22. And as you can see, I can keep doing this, and the studies will continue to disappear from this list. So the user basically works off a list like this, and then as he dictates them, he marks them dictated, and the studies will disappear, the number count will go down, and that's how he knows uh, what studies he's read and what study he has not read. So uh, the issue with this smart album is the queries that is providing me is only allowing me to choose these fields, these database fields. But in actuality, I need to choose this database field, sending application entity title. So if I try to copy this, and then change my query <coughs> it does change this tag name here now it's missing let me go back and then go back so it did change it but it, when I do test it then gives me an error saying filter not working, unimplemented SQL generation predicate. So um, there will be some SQL querying that needs to be done to create these smart albums. And the functionality I'm looking for is we have this web interface which is also a part of the program. It is already coded in the, in the software. This is a different client but these are the smart albums that are created for this client so here we can see the number next to them and they're all separated nice and neatly so if I go to one of these smart albums like this one has seven I have the ability to click this green triangle and the study will begin to be pulled to my local workstation you can see here now what do retrieve on the left side once the study is ready it will show up here at the top of my list because I have it sorted by date added and we'll give it a second for it to come down So as we can see the study has arrived it automatically opened and we'll go ahead and mark this dictated we can see the study here is the very first one there's an orange circle next to it informing us that it was added within the last 60 seconds 
and that would be the workflow. So the studies will come down, we will separate these into different categories. We will open here, the user will open the study in this uh, desktop application. They will close the study in this desktop application and then they will have this page open where I need a button here that's going to mark this exam dictated. So since this web application is running off of one database at one location, the user may have multiple desktop applications, uh, one in his office, one at his home, at different places. So what we want to do is when he logs in here on the home screen, maybe have some type of a button um, to turn on, auto download, and it will begin to download all of the studies that are in he can he can check off the smart albums that he wants to download so he would if he, if we have these smart albums not dictated obviously he doesn't want to download the ones that he dictated already but the not dictated he can see those smart albums here he can check them off and and then he can press a button that says auto download and then every 60 seconds it will continue to check those smart albums to see if there is any new files it will auto download to his workstation and then when he begins to read he will keep this screen up and he'll have the ability to mark a study red and then as he marks it red obviously it will disappear from this smart album because the dictated studies would not be in this uh, query so that is basically the the whole uh, workflow that I'm looking for and hopefully you guys can can program this for me alright if you have any questions please give me a call I'll be happy to answer thank you